What's up guys? I'm just gonna go through some cool stuff today. Everybody's been wanting me to do it. I've kind of been putting it off. I've been really busy. But I have the time and I'd like to share it with you. So I'm gonna start with the coal. Normally when you buy coal, you buy it in a bag of lump charcoal, not briquettes. Briquettes suck, they don't spark. It's pointless. Um, a lot of different people use a lot of different mixtures. You can research that. Um, whenever I'm just wanting to play around and I'm not being serious, I just use regular lump charcoal, like this right here. Um, it comes in bigger chunks, so you're going to have to break it down. And the method I use with that, I will wrap my coal up in a towel, and then I'll beat it with a hammer. That way it keeps the dust out of my face, and it's better for you. And then the next step, after you break your coal down, you'll load it in your proper choice, whether it be nunchucks, sword, staff, dragon staff, hoop. They make coal everything, or at least I like to think so. So the process you're going to go about after you break it and you load it and you seal your top off so your coal doesn't fall out of your cage. You're going to soak your coal in lighter fluid like you would if you were cooking with charcoal on a grill. And just like you can see right here. See that? Yep, that's nunchucks cooking. As you can see, my coals are getting nice and red. And yes, I am cooking that straight in a fire. A lot of you are thinking, your handles are going to get hot. Well, no, my handles are sticking out of the fire. So I'll be alright, I promise. <sighs> And when you're doing coal, you want to watch your coals. This is just like cooking. I'm telling you, like, you get your coals ready, throw your hamburgers on, cook it, grill it, sill it, eat it, defeat it, all that jazz. So, once you get your coals to the designated liking, which I like mine to be beet red, I don't know about the rest of you, but I want to make sure they're nice and lit. So, I do. I make sure they're good and lit. Now, a lot of you are wondering, what is the protection that you use to go about doing something like this? Because obviously I see you get covered in a lot of coal. Or encased in it. Well, my simple safety precautions are wear eye protection so you don't throw hot coals in your eye also face cover it's a good thing to have head cover also a great thing to have um, shoes with thick soles because you're gonna be flinging coal straight on the ground and it's gonna be hot imagine that as for everything else, you want a pretty good thick hoodie or some fireproof clothing of some sort. I wear jeans. Thick jeans. And that's about it. You can always wear gloves if you're afraid to burn your hands. However, I don't. It's just my choice. And when burning your coals, you're going to want to look and watch them. So they get about like that. They're nice and red, so when the wind whips through them, they keep getting hotter and hotter. And then you're gonna wanna have an area where you have plenty of room away from everything. And by means of everything, I mean people, cars, etc., leaves. You need to be in a safe space. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to turn and set my camera down and show you cold nunchucks. See my coals, nice and beat red, falling out of my cages. Ooh. 
And just like fire, this can burn you, so you have to be careful. Plus, your cages are hot because they have, well, lit coals in them. One advantage of coal over fire is that it lasts longer, quite a bit longer. Sometimes you can get maybe 16 minutes out of one burn. That's triple, quadruple what you can get with regular Crown or Coleman's. So that's why the people that do coal enjoy it so much. We don't have to fuel up as often and we can play longer. So I hope you all enjoyed my little brief tutorial on coal. If any of you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, don't hesitate to ask, because I will help you. But more importantly, if you're going for coal, be ready, because you're going to love it. That's why I do coal everything that I spin. And once I learn another prop, I'll learn it too. Like poi, for example. And you just go till these are out. I've got maybe two pieces of coal left in my thing. They're not gonna do a whole lot. As you can see, they will pop and stuff still. But, oop, lost the last one. And the reason why I said thick soles, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a galaxy on the ground. Those are hot coals. Be careful of that. So don't do this barefoot. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it.